chapter 12, recognizing the abundance everywhere. I'm a big abundance guy. I love this. Why is it important to see abundance in everything? Because if you don't see abundance, it's basically you see, you see scarcity, you know? So abundance, it, there's, there's, there's plenty out there for everyone. And I, in, in the book, I use one of my favorite things is gardening, just a simple act of gardening. And, you know, I, I, it's therapeutic for me, but I go out and I look at my garden and I look at what one seed, one little seed can produce. And, you know, I, I make reference to like a pepper plant. You got one seed and it, may, it might generate a plant that produces 100 peppers and each pepper's got 100 or 200 seeds inside of it. It goes on and on and on and on. And there's abundance everywhere. But meanwhile, we want to have 30 plants in a compacted garden and, and then they choke each other. They start choking each other. So it's almost like less is more. So in less, we can have more. And so we have to see how the littlest thing can create the biggest abundance in our lives. And, and I think from a societal standpoint, people see abundance maybe as a material thing. But I challenge people with the book, because it's about awareness, imagine having an abundance of awareness. Imagine having this abundance of awareness in every aspect of your life. Of your life. How powerful would that be? And how fulfilling would that be when you recognize things in the moment, when you recognize abundance in the smallest of things, when you recognize abundance in the deepest of things, in the, in, in the, in, in the everyday normal travels of your life, you know, where's the abundance there? You know, the air you breathe, the water you drink, the colors you see. There's so much abundance out there. We just have to be able to acknowledge it and see it. And when we do, we will feel more fulfilled.